What is up my friends, Coach Joe here at the Lions Den. Today I'm gonna to take you guys through, actually, I'm not gonna take you through it, I'm gonna take my man Jake through this workout. We're gonna do uh, pretty much a pull and back day. We're riding that hypertrophy train pretty hard, so we're gonna be doing lots of volume. I don't know if he's done any back training lately, so we're gonna ask him, but he is here. There are other creatures that are on four legs walking around my gym, which I'm sure you'll be introduced to because they're freaking adorable. Uh, and then uh, we'll just take you through what we're doing, ask some questions, give you some answers. Let's get on over to it. Oh my gosh, look at this handsome devil we have here. This is my man Jake, what's up dude? What's going on man? Why are you here at the Lions then? Uh, my girlfriend and I are moving cross country from New York City to Denver at the moment. What? Is and we had to make a pit stop, obviously. Are you excited? Oh, I'm stoked. So we're gonna do some back training today. Yeah. Uh, what's your training looking like at the moment? Right now it's an upper lower split and we're kind of just getting in sessions when we can. Obviously, COVID has been less than ideal in New York City, but getting in sessions when we can. I've been doing a lot of heavier pulling lately because gym is limited, so I'm trying to get the most bang for my buck, but I'm ready to get wide today with yourself. When was the last time you've done a high volume bodybuilding back workout? Hmm. Probably like three months ago in Missouri. I ran a good like six week mesocycle for bodybuilding, so we have a home gym there. Okay. So it's been a minute. <laughs> if, if I don't, I'm gonna be disappointed. All right, let's do it. All right, so just warming up with uh, four sets of pull-ups for myself. I wanted to hit 10 pull-ups each set, which is pretty good because I'm about 265 pounds, the heaviest I've ever been. So getting four sets of 10 uh, with my body weight, awesome. Warming up the lats, and uh, then from there we'll move on to pull-downs uh, for four sets. This is the last week of my training block. So I have to push extra hard because I'm going to do a week of active rest. Basically, I'm not lifting for a week and then we're going to start strength training for a competition. So it's going to be a nice transition from bodybuilding into strength training and then compete. Hopefully, I'll be the strongest I've ever been and I'm really excited to see what's to come. Of a pump. Been in the car for an hour and a half and I'm just feeling it already. Uh, I, pumps don't really exist for my body. <laughs> <laughs> Give us your best, best flex, let's see. Oh, oh, whoa, God. whoa. <laughs> Come on, Jake. Come on, So, left New York City, uh, quit my job as full-time editor at Barbend, and I'm pursuing my own 
Venture Now, which is an online training and education portal, along with some other projects. But long story short, New York City taxes are crazy. So to start a business there, not ideal when you don't have overhead. So we're heading out to Denver, my girlfriend and I and the dogs, more room for them, more room for the money. And my little brother's out there and her best friend is. So it's kind of like the best in all. And it's a great spot for fitness and tech. Since we're doing bodybuilding, all right, this is one of my favorite pieces of equipment in here, the lat pull down. It's a play loadable lat pull down. For all you people who always ask me what brand it is, I have no idea. I got it for a hundred bucks. It was a steal. I think I robbed the dude by accident. He has no idea. I'm sorry. Uh, but we're going to go underhand, okay, lat pull downs. I'm going for four sets, pretty much to failure each set. And uh, we're just trying to increase the size of our wingspan on the lats. Push T. Super beastly, down to 20 pounds. Only getting stronger. It's kind of freaking me out. Just tell me, what's your favorite back exercise? Back, probably these. These are, these are my favorite. Yeah, time. for sure. Yeah. Gonna be bigger. So I thought she was gonna be the same size as our Aussie, who's like 25, 30 pounds. He's a little bit overweight right now, quarantine. Um, but Shiba Inus are usually like 18 to like 25-ish pounds, and she was a mix, so we're like, okay, she'll probably be like 15, 20. We'll have a good dog to go hiking with. She has Papillon in her, only 12%. I actually did a DNA test. 12 freaking percent, and she's eight pounds. I think she might be more than 2% fox because she is literally a fox. Yeah, I can't let her out on any farm, otherwise she's gonna be uh, taken down by a farmer. All right, so as always, when we're doing these lap pull downs, we wanna really try to get full range of motion, okay? So pulling the bar all the way to our chest and letting our arms uh, lengthen all the way at the top. Try to control uh, the eccentric, you know, as much as possible. Doesn't have to be a tempo, uh, but just looking to have control over the movement and uh, I'm doing four sets today, trying to stay between that 12 and 15 rep range. Uh, so this is probably the heaviest I've gone uh, with this exercise. So strength gains have been there and this whole hypertrophy thing's been very new to me, uh, but hopefully you guys can follow along our workout and give it a shot. Here we go. Come on, you got Jason. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh. Come on. There it is, there it is. All right, so we're gonna have these guys try some rows out the way that we've been doing for bodybuilding. A little bit different uh, than I've done them before. Learn a lot from Mike Gizertel, RP Strength. Uh, so basically guys, when we're doing the rows, um, instead of using any sort of momentum, we're going to uh, almost keep our back super flat, feel our hamstrings a little bit. Let your arms come all the way down to feel the stretch in the lats. Hence why we're using like 10 pounds. We'll use like 25s. And then um, we're gonna pull all the way up, come all the way down for the stretch, all the way up, all the way down for the stretch, keeping it as strict as possible. So we don't wanna use like our legs or anything like that. So typically your waist gonna be a lot lower than you think it's gonna be, just cause we're looking for all mind muscle connection versus any sort of momentum. Uh, or help from any other part of our body. Nice man. Come on. Nice work, dude. I can't even talk right now. <laughs> Wait, that, that is a hard part. We always talk about that. You're so out of breath from doing it. Oh, dude, Jesus. Do you feel it more like from that stretch though, letting your arms come a little longer? Yeah, no, I feel it. 
And as soon as you hit that, like midway through eccentric, you just feel the lat almost yeah. expand and pull around the body. Which, to your point in doing these, is like a huge understatement when people train these. They lack that, that eccentric pull. You're actually feeling the muscle that is like the best banger above. Yeah. Because of like bodybuilding, I think for sure. 100%. Technical failure. Woo! Right? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That's it. Oh yeah. Hey girl, come on. A little different, right? So different. You feel that way more in your back and your lats? Yeah, definitely. Definitely my lats. Before would you kind of use a little bit more momentum? I've definitely cheated them a little bit. That's okay, yeah, I think everybody does. It's just, just a different variation, uh, right? Yeah, no, I like it. I feel it, I feel it. Holy shit. All right, so Jake's a good man. First time trying him, but you can easily see how it's tempting to start throwing in some heaves in there. So that's a technical failure. Whenever you start to feel the body English coming in, you gotta stop, okay? So that is our technical failure. It's a good example of it, but he stopped like one or two reps after that, realized those are garbage reps, and uh, we'll move on. All right, so we just did four sets of bent rows strict. Now we're gonna do three sets of upright rows, which Jake's doing right now. And I just told him what I really want him to focus on is letting the bar pull his hands down a little bit. So we're just feeling the lengthening of the trap at the bottom. And then we're trying to pull up to about our forehead. So a little bit extra range of motion up top, um, but that's something that's really helped me engage the traps more and just hitting the shoulders uh, really good just to finish up this workout. Jake, we officially accomplished a back hypertrophy workout. Yeah. How was that? I'm to, I'm cooked. I'm gonna be sore for like two or three days, guaranteed. <laughs> it was guaranteed. So much different than something you're used to. So much different. Like the, it's the, it's the stretch I think that makes the huge difference, right? And the controlling yeah. of the weight and higher rep, but especially with that eccentric stretch, it's a game changer. You think you're gonna try doing this more in the future? Uh, yeah, I will be definitely doing more of the rows, um, the supinated lat pull downs, one of my favorites all time. <laughs> Definitely be doing more of those. They kind of restoked the fire of how much I love those. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I will for sure be doing more of those. Uh, thank you for inviting me out, man. Absolutely. And where can everybody find you? So plug yourself away. Social media, projects you got going on. Uh, Let's yeah. hear it and get the followers to go over subscribe and follow you. Uh, so on Instagram, Jake underscore Bully. That is B-O-L-Y for my last name. And then I am building a YouTube channel right now. It's a baby channel, but we're building. And then uh, my full-time project in the training world right now is called Physique Lab. And that is with myself and Ojin Loki, who runs the Instagram page Physique. And that is P-H-E-A-S-Y-Q-U-E. -E. Um, it's an online training and education portal. Check it out if you're interested. Or just don't. Doesn't matter. But either way. All right, guys. Make sure you go subscribe to him. He's a buddy of mine. He's going to be doing big things. 
like he said earlier, he was with Barbend, huge company. Now he's just pursuing his own dreams, his passion. So super stoked for him. Give him some support. Follow him on his channel. Tell him you're from Zat Strength, and uh, we'll probably catch up sometime in the future, my man. But it's always Good. a pleasure. Thanks for coming out, Jake. Thank Go you. subscribe. Peace. Thank you.